What's up everybody? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the lo lowest delay possible in Season 7. I did this video a month ago, but I have more tips and more tricks to get you the lowest delay possible. If you learned some in this video, please make sure to smash the like button. Let's try to reach 20 likes in this video. Before we start the video, please subscribe. This really helps me to get on the algorithm and helps me grow my channel. I know I've been slacking lately, but that's due to my motivation being bad. Well, I'm back, I'm back on the grind. So the first thing I want to tell you is anti-micro. This is only for controllers, so I'm sorry for you keyboard and mouse players. I will have more keyboard and mouse tips and tricks in this video, so make sure to stay and watch. So how you download anti-micro is you click on download. You'll wait five seconds. And here you just press on it and it'll it'll, it'll download anti micro. Once you have anti micro, I already have it, so I'm not gonna download it again. You should this should pop up. Then all you wanna do is plug in your controller. But once your controller's once your controller's plugged in, it should show you this. Whenever you press a button, it'll pop up. So right now I'm pressing right trigger, C, left trigger, right trigger, A, B, Y, X. So, anyway, in this, all you want to do is press new at the at the top. I already have a uh, delay thing. Press new. And then go to go to left trigger and put, this, put dead zone on zero and, ma and max zone to one. That's what I have on it both triggers then here b and a all you want to do is click on it then tick turbo go to advanced go to turbo enable it and put on 0 0.02 seconds but once you're done you want to save or save as when you save as you type something in and save it and then you want to minimize it do not close this Next tip is graphic settings. When you go to graph, when you go to graphic settings, so all you want to do when you're here is click browse and go down to whatever drive your Fortnite's downloaded on. It's probably your main one and either an 86 or program files, and all you want to find is Epic Games. I moved it to my older drive because I had no space on my main drive, but when you click when you click epic games it should be named epic games i renamed it but this epic games fortnite should pop up and then fortnite click on fortnite game then binaries then win 64 so once you're in win 64 you have to click on win 64 sh snip sh shipping and then this should pop up here and then go options and then go high performance this will give you the most fps and lowest delay possible so the last step is probably the most important i'm not gonna go over any like in-game sayings or whatever because that doesn't really do anything i know a lot of youtubers have been saying like it does it does change something but not like significantly enough that you can actually feel once you're here press on manage 3d settings and go to program settings now you could go to program settings and add fortnite here add and then change them but i i'm using global settings for fortnite so it doesn't even matter so when you go to global settings all you want to do is just copy my settings now those are the settings i know this video was a bit short and a bit rebranded i guess because i took it from my old video but i just i i told you other ways to get lower delay and trust me the anti-micro one is a lifesaver i know it's only on um it's only on controller i there's probably a way another app on keyboard to get it but I, i'm not i'm not sure of it 
Also, my other tutorial had very good tips in it, so if you missed it, please go back and watch it. So this was the video. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. Like I said, it helps me to get on the algorithm and helps me grow. Also, like, also smash the like button. This helps me. This helps me. This motivates me and makes me push harder and make make content that helps people. Anyway, it's been your boy Adi. Peace.